One great thing about Excel 2010 is that the file format hasn't changed from the 2007 version. The four-letter .xlsx file format of Excel 2010 is the same format used by Excel 2007 and also by Excel 2008 on the Mac. Now this is different from the three-letter .xls format of older versions of Excel, that is 97 to 2003. Even so, there is formatting that you can apply in Excel 2010 that won't be fully recognized in Excel 2007. Now, at some point, it's only a matter of time that you will need to share files with someone using an older version. So the info I give you in this movie will hopefully save you some headaches down the road. Now, if we take a look here, we've got these little icons here, and these are from conditional formatting. We also have SmartArt down there. We'll take a look at conditional formatting and SmartArt a little bit later. But these particular icons were introduced in 2010. So if you were to open up this file in Excel 2007, these icons wouldn't even be visible, but the SmartArt would be completely visible. If you tried to open this document up in Excel 2003, well, you might not be able to open it at all. And if you were able to open it, not only would these icons not be there, but this SmartArt would just be a regular old graphic. So let's see how we can save this down to the 2003 version. Well, we'll go to Backstage View. So go up here and click the File tab. And then down over here, choose Save and Send. Under File Type, choose Change File Type. Well, we want to change it to the 97 to 2003 workbook. All those versions in the same format. Choose that. Now over here, click Save As. And now we can save this as Excel 97 to 2003. I don't know about you, but I think that's just way too many steps to get to this version. So just cancel out. An easier way is, on your keyboard, just press the F12 key. And the F12 key immediately brings up the Save As dialog box. And that will work in all of the Office programs, just about any version you can think of. So now all we have to do is click the Save As Type, and now choose Excel 97 to 2003. Well, let's call this, instead of current format, let's change the file name. We'll call this current format 2003, just so we know what that is. And click Save. Now, this pop-up comes up. I'm just going to stretch this out here a little bit. This tells us that the conditional formatting won't survive the trip. And you can see this significant loss of functionality. And this tells us that some of these things simply will be removed. Some of the things will not be editable. Some cells, you can read this. And down here, we have minor loss of fidelity. And you might wonder, all right, well, where are all these things? If you click Find, it will select. Let me just hit F12 again, go back. And we'll call this again, current format, 2003, and save. So this pop-up comes up. So any of these, you could click Find, and it will select exactly what it is that is going to cause a problem. So someone who opens this in Excel 2003, they won't see the conditional formatting. It tells us the smart art won't be editable, that it'll be converted to regular shapes. All of these things we went over. Now, let's do this. Let's throw caution to the wind and say, that's fine. We'll deal with it. So click Continue. Now that goes away, and you see this tells us that it's current format 2003.xlsx. And the worksheet looks fine. We can see the icons. We can click the SmartArt. We have this little pop-up. As I said, we'll talk about SmartArt. You might wonder, well, well, what's the difference? And the reason is that we still have it open. Well, let's close it. You can either press Control F4 or click your Close button. Let's go back to Backstage View, back to Recent. And here is the file we just saved, current format 2003 three-letter extension, XLS. Click it, and now you see on top, it shows us we're in compatibility mode. And now you can see those icons are gone. And the smart art, if you click this, you have regular shape editing. It's really not fully editable. Now, let's open another file. I'm just going to press Control-O to bring up my file open. And we have this older format workbook, and open that up. And you see this we even have an older header on top, and this also shows us compatibility mode. So this is an older format. Now, what if we want to save this up to the newer version? Well, the same thing. We can go to File, and we can choose Save As, or press F12. And because this is 2003, we can click this and now save this as a regular Excel workbook with the four-letter extension. And now let's call this maybe Upgraded Format Workbook click Save. It still says it's compatibility mode, so if we close it, go back to Recent, and reopen it, 
Now it's no longer compatibility mode. This is now fully editable and we can do anything with this as though we created it in Excel 2010. So this may seem a little confusing at first, but there are so many installations of older versions of Excel still in use. You really want to be aware of what you can and cannot do and how you can get from one version to another in Excel. You're going to be a lot happier.